Goa Vlog Episode 6 Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. We decided to take a different approach to start our vlog this time. In episode 6, we are reviewing our experience or should we say experiences at the renowned restaurant Martin's Corner in South Goa. As the name suggests, a humble grocery store at the corner of a home in the sleepy village of Betal Batam, blazing amidst coconut groves and jack trees, the home belonged to Martin Pereira, who in 1986 retired from the Marmagao Port Trust and wanted to find an avenue of income which would also keep him occupied. His wife Carafina, who still heads the kitchen at the restaurant, told us he gave me rupees five thousand and asked me to do something with it. That was our entire initial investment, she said. Opening a little grocery store and being a keen cook, she started serving a few Goan dishes like sausage bread and sorputel. There was just one table, remembers Carafina Pereira. As the business grew, the Pereiras decided to convert their sprawling home into a proper restaurant, moving across the road where they now live in three swank bungalows and also start a hotel. Carafina's home-style food, created with stone ground masalas, fresh seafood, beef, and pork, may have brought in the crowds, but Martin Scorner's big boom was yet to come. Let's dive right in and get to know more about the history and the food that the restaurant is so famous for. Sometime in 1990, Sachin Tendulkar mentioned on a TV program that Martin's Corner was one of his favorite restaurants anywhere in the world. While big brands paid crores to India's much idolized cricketers to endorse them, one statement had done the trick for Martin's. The trickle of customers that had become a steady flow suddenly became a deluge. Celebrities came by the hordes: Ishwara Rai, Amitabh Bachchan, Ritik Roshan, Ravi Shastri, and a host of others. Sachin Tendulkar's appreciation of Martin's Corner was not a fleeting thing. He so loved the food that when he launched the now defunct Tendulkar's Restaurant in partnership with Sanjay Narang in Mumbai, he introduced the Martin's Corner King Crab Masala Fry on the menu and gave credit to the original. His chefs trained at Martin's Corner as well. Even now, when Tendulkar, whose in-laws have a holiday home in Goa, comes to dine, he carries away masalas for Goan classics. Review one: Goan cuisine. Since we were staying at Martin's Comfort, Martin's Corner was just a few steps away from our hotel, where we dined for two consecutive nights. Here's our review for the Goan cuisine at Martin's Corner. So I don't know if you guys can hear us, but uh, this is one of—is it one of the oldest restaurants? Not oldest, but it's—it it, it is pretty popular, very, very popular. Probably the most top three popular uh, restaurant in Goa. Yeah, heritage, right? Very, very heritage. So uh, we luckily got a table on a Friday night. So I think it was the last table. It was the last yeah, table. Yeah. If you guys plan to come for dinner, especially on a Friday night, make sure you're doing your reservations in advance. Yeah. The vibe, the ambience, everything is amazing. Um, live music, great music, music, yeah, yeah. and. Um, I mean, you'll, you'll enjoy. Yeah. I still don't know if you guys can hear us, but if you can, uh, we have ordered for a chicken manchow soup, a prawn curry and rice, and we have ordered a prawn curry and rice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nothing extraordinary the matcha soup. I've had way better. I'm sure you are way better. I'll take, I won't take the name of where we are, but find it too gingery and too garlicky for my liking. But yeah, so far so good. Prawns uh, are decent. I'll rate this 5, five out of 10. This is 7 out of 10 because the problem is stand, standard set by Konkana candy are just too high. Too, too high. And, uh, so this is 7 out of 10. Konkana canteen for me is 10 out of 10. So that I would probably give you review another sometime once I get done with uh, my soup and my sarah. Are you waiting on me? My review. My review. Yes. It's nice and windy, yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect time to eat something like that. Very homely food. I mean, so I'll rate this at six out of ten. Yep. Yeah. It's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Six for me is average. 8 is good and then 9 is better and then 10 is probably top notch best level so again but more than food i think people come here for the ambience the vibe, and the vibe the ambience again it's, it's, even if i i would mostly come for the ambience good music i love retro music i would come here for the music and the starters again prawn dry squids butter, butter garlic yeah and maybe once in blue moon prawn curry rice and that's what we're doing once in blue moon we come to Goa so why not so yeah 6 out of 10 not bad the restaurant was buzzing and it was just too noisy for us to record anything or even hear ourselves when we were talking. So we just decided to shoot a time lapse and record our reviews later on as voiceovers. Since we already had Goan cuisine, authentic Goan cuisine at the Konkani canteen, our standards were extremely high. Uh, because of which I think Martin's Corner's Goan cuisine was decent for us and not over the top great. And that's where we were with our reviews. Uh, the prawn curry and rice was good, but since we already had extremely good food at Konkani Canteen, uh, it was somewhere at par for us. Prawn draw fry, again, it was, we had the same exact thing at Konkani Canteen, so standards were really, really high. Let's hop to the desserts. Yeah, we give us a review on the Bibinga. I always like the Vibinka, so for me it's nice. And this is the first time I've eaten Vibinka on this trip, so I like it. I can't rate it. It's nice. Uh, but I, from the ones you had before, what do you think is, where is, where does it stand? This is better, yeah. This is better than the ones I've had before. This years back, we had come and one of our family friends had gifted us so I think that Sorry, whoever is vegetarian. And what do you really experience in uh, this dining setting up? I, I mean, think the vibe was an 11 out of 10. Ambience, the weather is also amazing. Food was okay. So I guess people come here for the vibe. They don't come here for the food as much. You might be a little overrated here. We've had better food, but but the vibe is amazing. Review two: the next night at Martin's. Our second dining experience at Martin's left us pleasantly surprised. We decided to order whatever we were in the mood for. Manny called for a Thai curry and rice, and I opted for a spaghetti bolognese. Here's how the second night changed our view completely about Martin's Corner.
it's good stuff guys i mean this is the second day here and um, we don't have the starters video but we go for thai curry rice and um, spaghetti bolognese which is beef uh, and chicken thai curry rice top notch guys top notch like good 9 out of 10 for thai curry i would rate this as well 9 out of 10 abhi what would you rate this as it was the best spaghetti bolognese i've had so yeah there you go again top notch guys i mean great stuff i mean by quantity guys damn it's a lot it is a lot i mean abhi's almost done and um, i'm still getting done i already had one portion of this and i'm finishing what abhi's left so we had what did we have for soup tom yum and uh, fish fingers so i think today was better than yesterday right Today we ordered for everything miscellaneous. Yesterday was all about go in food and go in delicacies. Today we've been doing Italy, Thai, just mixed it around. Italian Thai. And it's good, good, good stuff, good stuff. It's not only really go in stuff, it's it's ordinary. It's, it's good stuff. Like we said, the second experience at Martin's Corner left us pleasantly surprised. We loved the food and, of course. All that had to be said about the ambience has been said before in the video. So, just hopping on to what our bill was on the first night after we ordered around five items. Let's see. So, food's pretty reasonable here, guys. Iced tea was one fifty, bibimka was one forty, manchow soup. Very, very reasonable rates. Fine dining. Yeah, for so fine dining, and the total was one to four nine. So, in all. The ambience value for money is pretty good. Vibe is like 11 on 10. And we're almost done oh. with the day. I like I'm just getting tired now. Uh, even though today was chill, I think it's the lazy zone. That's and we worked out as well in the evening. So, and the weather's been like that: chill weather, lazy weather. It's been raining. Yeah. So we just wanted to talk a little more about Martin's Corner. Uh, the food was decent enough. I think the only thing that we would like for you guys to know is that the starters are as expensive as the main course so maybe, maybe guys, it's much more expensive than yeah. the um, and rightly so i think that's where the authentic go in food comes so uh, if you guys are coming in groups that is something that you should be attention to yeah once you're and if you're coming in groups again please book please book come please early off. i don't know if they do book. come early because it's very very hard to get a place i mean we left Right now, at almost ten o'clock, we left the place because we live a minute away from here, and there was like a line, like a long queue waiting to get in. At least twenty, thirty-five people. So, book, book your slot, get a reservation done, or come early and just chill out. But yeah. While you're doing that, also please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, and stay tuned for our next episode. Ciao. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next episode on the Goa Vlog series. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.